ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another manual graphics tutorial. Today in this tutorial, we're we'll looking into creating this really cool meteor in Inkscape. So this tutorial was inspired by um, Nina Geometriva, I think I spelt it, pronounced it wrong, but I'll leave a link in the description. Her meteor, it's quite a um, popular thing on Dribbble. And then I saw a person try and replicate her effects using um, Illustrator, Swerve, um, Swerve Graphics. So I decided that I'd um, replicate the effects in Inkscape. So let's get started. Open up a new document. And once you're on your new document, make sure you hit the Align and Distribute panel and the Fill and Strokes panel up here. The next thing we're going to do is go to File, Document Properties, and unclick, untick, Show Page Border. We're then going to go View, Custom, View, Zoom, one on one So the first thing we're going to do is create a circle. So do this by collecting the Ellipse tool and holding Control and Shift on your key. funky pink for that color. Then we're going to grab our rectangle tool and we're just going to create a rectangle like so. Now if your rectangle doesn't align quite like this one does, which is pure luck, just set the width to the same width of the circle. and then you can snap the rectangle to the circle using this tool here selecting those two and it will snap, snap to bounding boxes so that was pretty lucky getting this nice and even nice and perfect the first time so the next thing we're going to do is select both of these, the circle and the rectangle, and hit Control D to duplicate. Hold Shift and Control to scale and pull out the nerves on the end. Change the color to a purple. And over here we want to lower selection one step, like so going to just continue to pull this like so and we're just going to hold shift and the arrow keys to move up then down and around that so we get an equal thickness around the whole image the next thing we're going to do is again select the purple layer hit control D to duplicate then head over to another color something like that, it doesn't really matter, we can all change it in the end. Make it thicker and shift to clip up. Things come out. So now we've got this cool staggered effect going on. With our green layer we just want to pull the rectangle up. Yay high. Just want to make it just bigger. Let's really put this. That's the first part of the tutorial complete. The next section is we're going to get the rectangle select tool. Grab any color, preferably one that isn't the same. 
create a rectangle, zoom in and drag it over here, but make the width And we're just going to create a rectangle there. Control D and move it to the other side. So we've got these two rectangles here. This is just outlining our workspace. In fact, the rectangles are good. Over. These rectangles we're going to use later. There we go. So once we've got these two rectangles there, we want to make sure that they're both touching the top left corner and top right corner here, and that they're all and they're also touching the pink layer in here. And again, I said this, we're going to use these later. So hit com Control D to duplicate those. And just move. I'll just move it over there. And hit Control D again. Move that one more. Select color. Actually, we're going to have to use this color there. And scale that up. And select your edit path by nodes and pull this circle down as far as it goes. This creates a rounded, a rounded rectangle or a capsule. Okay, once that's snapped to the top left corner, we're going to hit Control D and move it across, snapping it each time. Continue to do this like so. Now we want to keep select the first, third, fifth, seventh, and ninth um, capsule and hit Control plus plus or path. Union. Then select the ones in between and hit Control plus minus on your keyboard, which can also be found under Path Difference. Uh, it seems I made an error. In determining how many one oh we it needs to be an odd number. So delete all of those and make sure In order to this this thing to work, the capsules need to be in an odd number. Sorry about that. Just delete that one. And select all of them. Just 
Uh, control D to duplicate, and this is the new size of our next layer. Now, with these, select them all again, and as we stretch them, the rounded shape lost its roundness. So I just manually pull out the roundness panel. There we go. And again, continue with that same thing of selecting these ones. Path union and then selecting these and cutting them from sections. Okay, so we've completed that. The next thing we're going to do is do the next layer, obviously. So with this layer, We're going to align that um, like so. Start linking these up. I'm sure this could be done more efficiently, but this is just the way I learned how to do it. Hit Control D, move it here. Hit Control D. Delete these two other rectangles. Grab our purple sphere, purple circle, and purple rectangle, and scale them out just a tad. So the Sorry about that. So they link up to the edges, and then with this, we just need to count one, two, odd number, which is good. Select them all, make them purple, and bring them up like so. Okay, now we've got them, select the 1st, 3rd, 5th, 7th, 9th, and 11th, and join them by path union, then cut the ones out that we don't want. Like so. So now we've got the basic layout of how the effect is achieved. Let's make this a bit longer. This is a medium. Like so. This is how the basic setup of the effect that we want to achieve. So the next thing is, is we just need to scale um, and resize these points. So select the purple rectangle, pink rectangle. Select those points. Pull that down, select those points, pull it down,
Okay, looking good. The similar thing goes to these bottom points. Otherwise, it creates inconsistencies. And then with these, do a similar process. Selecting the nodes. And the best thing about this is you every time you do it you can do it completely different and you can have different varying effects. Like so. Now Currently it looks good, but it's still a bit bland and boring. We should... There was supposed to be... You're supposed to keep one of the other um, capsules in order to just use the same one again, but in this case I must have deleted it. So just create... Another one. So that's an easy way to make the capsules, and that's the same size. So with this, we can just control D and move it here. We can then make it this color, shrink it, like so it's a smaller capsule. do that. So we've got a bit of um like so and then we just use the same thing for here. And you can add as many as you like. Like so. You can delete this. You can also change the first sphere's color to, to white and bring it on top. Like so. It's an alternative effect. 
and we'll just go file document property show pitch border and just move on to your page and continue creating your artwork so thank you very much for watching this tutorial I hope you um, managed to achieve the effect and if you haven't leave some comments in below um, this is my first Inkscape tutorial so any feedback would be nice um, like suggested tutorials what I can improve on um, things I could have done easier so thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video